this is basically how we're doing it. So sh I had all of these in order, starting with one. So she does one, it says one, 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 one. Lily is here. And then she puts one stick. Same thing does two, two, two. Puts two sticks, counts one, two. And then she can take the third sandpaper letter, take it out, count to say three, three, three. And then she can count one, two, three, stick. And then we take out the number four, say she can match it up. And what do we say, Lily? What do we trace it and we say what? Four. Four, good. And then we count one, Two, three, four. Four. And then we do five. And the point, the control of error here is when she does five. <coughs> sorry for the coughing in the background. When she does five, there'll be no sticks left. So if she wasn't sure how many to put in here, this is zero. There'll be none left to put in there. So this is zero, there's none. One, two, three, four, five. You could even say, um, which one has the most nothing. sticks? Nothing. That one Mama. has nothing, good. And then say two. Is this Mom, more you sticks than one? This Are there one. more sticks than one? And you she can forgot. actually visualize this. the one to one. Would you like to do, what number is this? Do you know that number? Mm. That's that one we're working on. That's the number five. So five. can we match it? Is this the number? Does this number match? Uh-huh, five. Do you want to sit, trace it? Five. Okay, she's a little distracted. And then we would count to five. This is great because I have the one, the zero through nine. And she's just not, I want to, I should master the one through five before I introduce her to six through nine or 10. So anyway, this is how we did it. This took like two seconds, three toilet paper rolls, 15 popsicle sticks, a foam board, a little box, some hot glue. And I have a template for sandpaper numbers if you want to make your own and on some foam board.